So Grant, um, fabulous lime green bike and it all falls up and uh, Matteo you've got a white one you want to talk a little bit about this business it looks like fabulous great for here too right sure yeah this is uh, this is called the Urbi this is the world's most compact personal e-vehicle it's uh, designed to go 20 miles on a single charge it's all electric has a wow. giant lithium-ion battery in the front uh, top speed of 15 miles an hour and uh, as you can see here it folds so you can fold it up like that and take it with you anywhere you go, including a train or a bus and a back of a car. So it becomes that kind of per perfect last mile vehicle. So you don't have to hang it on the front of the bus or, or like stand it up in the train. You can actually just keep it with you. Yeah, exactly. You know, a lot of, a lot of people, when it's really busy and congested, sometimes you have to miss a bus or, or a train because you can't fit on it. This just stays with you. It's only 27 pounds. You can lift it with one hand and, and away you go, you know. Yeah. And how does it ride as a bicycle? Because I love bicycle riding. You know, I think it's actually more fun than a bicycle because it, it does have this really sort of short wheelbase. So it, what, it, it takes a minute to get used to. Usually most people, it's about a block. And by the end of the block, they've got it hands down and, and, and you're, you're, you're good to go. It's awesome. Do you have to have a license to ride one of these? Well, it's, a, it's got a top speed of 15 miles an hour. So most... Most places it will fit within that electric bicycle category. It doesn't go any faster than that, so so no, you don't need a license. Uh, I would recommend checking with your local jurisdiction uh, laws. Um, you know, we haven't had any issues with it so far. And, and tell me, like, uh, round about the price, like, and can you get them here? So right now we are actually on sale at Indiegogo.com. We're doing a crowdfunding campaign, and we have two price points. One. Uh, we did an initial launch at $15.99, but that was for an all-U.S. made product um, and very limited edition. And then we uh, second offered a, a much more mainstream price point of $7.99, which will be uh, produced in our overseas factory. So, Matea, the white one's nice too, although I like the bright green. You haven't got a pink yet, right? <laughs> um, we actually have pink inserts, so if you look at the circles here, these are actually inserts. So you can customize your own color, pink. I'm a color girl, so I do like the, the bright colors. We just took the pink ones out. I know. I, he, didn't, he didn't want to ride around on the pink, so. It's I, like a man thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I wanted the black thing? carbon fiber cool, you know, version, so. <laughs> but I like pink, You wanted too. to be able to hold your head up in the, in the um, San Francisco, right? Well, if you want to talk to women, then you put the pink inserts in, so. Brain snap. <laughs> So tell me um, your piece in the, in the company. Well, we're all co-founders, so, you know, my background started several companies before, so, and Grant's really the one who invented this, so we uh, combined a team to, uh, to launch this product. But you're obviously a bike rider. You love riding a bicycle like I do. I actually like exercising, but other people have asked us, why are you trying to replace a bike, and we're not. Yeah. We're actually trying to replace cars, mm -hmm. so take cars off the road. So that's really the reason. I saw that opportunity as soon as you started telling me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's really the goal. Look, good luck with it, and uh, they look fabulous. And uh, if you ever want someone to, like, PR and trial it out, I'm here <laughs> if you've got a pink one. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank absolutely, you. yeah, absolutely.